Was the film too? I'm just going to show up. Oh, just waiting. Oh, what does this look like? My mom left her. Yeah. Look where's my photos at? Because I'm going to show somebody. You see it? Oh, yes. Yeah. There's nothing in it. I put back. No, it could just be like snake skin. That's what I saw. Oh, it's be all. It's kind of rubbery, right? Oh, or maybe it's a. Uh, uh, you see, when I kicked it, that I looks like a what's it called? Plant? I was thinking, yeah, that looks like a um, succulent. <laughs> and she has a lot of succulents in her yard. What kind of succulent would that be? Oh, like that. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, somebody come. Uh, Charlene Bill Moore. Charlene Moore? I don't know. Hi, is she driving in the car? <laughs> Can you hear us? Can you hear us, Charlene? Hello, Brianna Castro. Can you hear us, Charlene? Huh? Yes, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. How you doing, Miss Michelle? Doing good, just want to make sure I'm testing one, two, three. Okay, that was Brianna. Did you see? Brianna? Yeah. Hi, Brianna. Brianna Castro. Hi. Yes. Hi. Hi. Okay, just let us know if you can hear us. Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, great. I think that's it so far. It's two. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just waiting for a few more people to log in, okay, ladies? Okay. Thank you. Listen to the rest of you. I'm like, I was all over the whole thing. Oh, shit. Here, this is the first time I've ever seen Maria Savannah. C-R-E-R-V. Maria Savannah. Good job. Hi, Maria. Hello, can you hear us? I can see you. Can you hear us? Jacqueline Armstrong. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Jacqueline. Do they have to have it on? Hello, let us know you can hear us. She has a still picture. Okay. We just waiting for a few more students. I know. And I know oh, yes. Hello, Jacqueline, can you hear us? Okay. We have to be able to see your faces, right? Yes. We have Jack and Ashton. We have Jack and Ashton. Maria Cervantes. Charlene Moore and Brianna. Mm -hmm. Bear with us, we're taking roll call. Everybody's not clocking in at the same time. But, okay, yeah. <clears throat> How you ladies doing today? How you ladies doing today? All right, oh, I got a thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you. 
actually i'm really tired i just woke up <laughs> you just woke up oh yes did you been working for are you the one who's speaking? Yeah. Uh, You've been working a lot, right? That's Maria. Yeah, 12 hour days. Yeah. Woo. But you're going places. That's why. You're going to school, you're going to work, you're going places. You're going to be rewarded at the end when this is all over. Your career. Yeah, You'll be able to make your own hours, book your own money. Oh, such a one, so wonderful. Sri Lanka. Yeah, uh, oh, she has a fancy name, X I T A L I. Salali? Yeah, yes, yeah, Marka. Mm -hmm. Silali. 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 I always mispronounce it and I still apologize. It's been a year and I still probably <laughs> miss. Daisy. Pronounce your name for Miss Michelle, please. Daisy or Green. Deja? Can you guys hear me? Pronounce your name for Miss Michelle, please. Siklali. Oh, wow. Yeah, I have that. I know, and then it just rolls off her tongue. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. Beautiful, then. And I heard her. Thank you. I know. And I... <laughs> so that's how you say it. <laughs> okay. So did you say Deja? Yeah. Deja Green? Yep. Nice. Nice, Deja. Can we see your face? Deja? Moto Z. Moto Z. Go ahead. We're just waiting for a few more students to log on, ladies. In case you're wondering why we didn't start yet, okay? So if you log on, we have to see your face, okay? Deja Green entered in the way. There she is. Hi, Deja. Can you hear us? Just give us a thumbs up. Can you hear? All right. Thank you. Is that Jennifer? Who's that in the middle? Uh, Moto Z. <laughs> oh, that's Jenna Jennifer. I didn't recognize a Moto Z. <laughs> I see the flowers though. Look at her arranging the flowers. Okay. <laughs> Okay, about five more minutes, I think. Yeah. Gonna so me. we're gonna give you a few a few more minutes and then we're gonna take roll after as well. So you guys make sure you stay logged on, okay? How long is it past about two hours? Oh, give them like two yeah, hours. that's what Miss Becky said. And then a break. 
Yep. So this is a two hours uh, class and we're going to take a break and then uh, continue. Okay, ladies. Deja, your eyeshadow looks awesome. Where are you going? Look, Miss Sue. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Look, she's batting her eyes now. <laughs> and it looked like you in a field of flowers or something, girl, your background. Go ahead now. <laughs> Oh, look, she's so, look. <laughs> oh. Hi, Charlene, you back? <laughs> okay. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four. Go that. We're not gonna take too much time because we gotta go yeah. on. Yeah. Some yeah. people pop on. Uh, right. Oh, here's one. Okay. Let me see what it was. Let me see. Did you get, oh. Okay. So we are, I'm going to be, uh, Teaching chapter five, which is chemistry. Okay, so we're gonna go matter. What is matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and it, is, it exists in three forms, okay? So we have three forms of matter. We have solid, liquids, and gases, okay? What is an example of a solid form? Well, one is hair. Okay. Hair. Hair is an example of a solid mass. Okay. What is a liquid? Liquids are a weight body and it has no shape. with no shape. Perfect example of liquid matter is your firm solutions. And your shampoos. Okay, your conditions. Shampoos and your conditions. Third is gas oh, and hair has weight, volume, and shape. Okay, gases has weight, indefinite volume, and shape. And a perfect example of gases is oxygen. Okay, so there are changes in matter. Okay, there's two different kinds of changes in matter. So let me explain that. You have a physical change and you have a chemical change.
Okay, so a physical change that uh, changes the characteristics without making a new substance. So it change the characteristics without making a new substance. For example, this ice is solid, okay? But if it's just long enough, it turns into water. Okay. So, oh, look at oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so you have solid ice. Okay, and when it melts, it turns into water. So that's an example of a physical change, okay? A chemical change is a substance that creates a new substance with a chemical characteristic different from those of the original substance. Okay, let me write that down. So a chemical change is a change in a substance that creates a new substance with chemical characteristics. Different from those of the original substance. So if you're taking a chemical and changing it from one thing or one product into another. Okay. Okay, so one thing is, okay, so, let me ask, hold on one second. Students are coming in a little late, let's see. Okay. So the ice is what they say is a physical change, okay? It's turning from ice into water. It's the same substance. So what would a chemical change be? Okay, a chemical change is if you take in color, right? And when you put the developer in there, it's changing it, right? It's to be oxidative, okay? And that would be a chemical change. You are putting basically an activator in it. But you're changing one substance, okay? And putting another one in there, mixing it together, and it's, it's creating something different. Where versus if you take in this ice, okay, and let it melt, it's the same substance. Does everybody understand that? Anybody have any questions? So all matter of elements, basic substances that cannot be broken down into similar substances. All 
all matter is composed of atoms, which make up elements. All right, so what is the... Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and sulfur. The symbol for these, you might not see the whole word spell out, so they abbreviate. So hydrogen is an H, carbon is a C, nitrogen is a N, oxygen is an O, and of course sulfur is an S. Okay, so what form will these break? What form will these elements break down to? Okay, so what kind of form? Hydrogen is gas. Carbon is solid. Nitrogen is gas. Oxygen is gas. And sulfur is solid. They keep, there's a lot of shampoos that have sulfur in it. Okay. If you notice now, they're making a lot of sulfate free, sulfate free shampoos because they found out that it's drying out the hair. Okay. So what elements found in the hair? Can you go to that one? Elements found. Carbon, oxygen, hydrogen. I don't know if you ladies can hear me or not. We lost the connection for a minute.
Yay, we're back. <laughs> okay, so remember, thorns are elements that make up hair. Carbon monoxide. Oxygen. Hydrogen. Nice okay. What is the smallest complete unit of an element? Does anybody know the smallest complete unit of an element is a atom? A smallest. Okay, so now we're going to break down the atoms. Get a three parts to an atom. Okay, the three parts to an atom is proton which is a positive electric charge. It gives the atom a name. Neutron. Okay, so I said just three. So the second one is neutron. It's no electrical charge. <laughs> anybody else come in? Uh, Did we get anybody else in? No, we lost the next one. No electrical charge. And it determines the weight. The tap in and see what's like participants. Yes, sir. Just tap the top. Yeah, yeah. And see what's say participants. You tap that. Yeah. I don't know how to work there. Right. See the little people. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you can see uh, anybody new came in. Oh, <laughs> gotcha, guys. So we still, still take a roll call. We got Angelina. So no electrical charge that determines the weight. Other than. And it is neutral. Okay, and then the third one is electron. It's a negative electrical charge. Okay, so negative electrical charge. Okay. So you ever see on the battery where they have the positive and then you have the neg negative? Okay, so your protein, proton will be a positive charge with the symbol like a cross, and then the electron is negative, it's like a minus sign, negative. It makes it possible for the atoms to combine with other atoms to form bonds. That's what the electron will do. It makes it possible for the atoms to combine with other atoms to form bonds. Okay. 
Who's the phone? N A V I M F R. Is that Mackenzie? Yeah. Okay. We just need, we're trying to do roll. And who's the Moto? Who's the Moto 7? Moto Z? Oh, oh that's um, Jennifer Shields. <laughs> Is that? Okay. You got everybody else? <laughs> okay, so let's go over this again. So your proton is a positive charge, positive electric charge. It gives the atom a name. Two is your neutron. It's no electrical charge, and it determines the weight of an atom. It's neutral. Okay, so one is positive. The neutron is neutral. And then the electron is negative. Okay, electrical charge it makes it possible for all the other atoms to combine with other atoms to form bonds. Okay. Now we're going to move along to the molecule. Okay, so neutrons. Two or more atoms joined together by a chemical bond, unstable atoms combined chemically by sharing electrons. Oops, I'm sorry, molecules. Two. Or more atoms join together by a chemical bond. Unstable atoms. Chemically, by sharing and living. Chemistry is almost like math. Once you get the puzzle and the pieces together, they're all connected. Okay. So give me an example of a Solid matter and a liquid matter and a gas. Can anybody do that? What is a solid? Give me an example of a solid matter. Don't everybody talk at one time. Jennifer, are you sitting at a solid matter right now? Isn't that a desk you were sitting at? It's actually a glass garden style table. Is this solid? Yeah. Okay. This board is solid. Okay. What is an example of liquid? Class. What's an example of liquid? Somebody's got to be drinking something. Water. <laughs> Exactly. Thank you. Water. And what is an example of gas? Anybody? Gasoline. <laughs> you close. <laughs> you close. That's a that would be a liquid, right? Gasoline comes out of water. It's the air we breathe. That's an example. Remember oxygen, carbon. Carbon monoxide, all of that is gases. Okay? Okay, so what does Cohen stand for? Cohen's, I wrote it on the board. 
Abbreviation is C O H N S, and that most likely will be on your written test. Okay, some people are playing that it doesn't go down like the C O H N S. Are you asking what it stands for? Are you asking what yes. it stands for? Uh, carbon stand monoxide, for? carbon monoxide, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and sulfur. Hey! <laughs> Very good. Very good. I know. I'm not going to say that. Well, there's carbon, oxygen, hydrogen. Nitrogen and sulfur. So it's just an easy way to learn and try to remember. Okay. So do not be surprised if you see that on your written test. C O H N S. Okay, ladies. Uh -huh. So chemical bonds are atoms combined chemically to create compounds. That eventually create protein up here. What are amino, amino acids? They are compounds of C O H N. Okay, there's 22 common amino acids joined together in chains to make proteins. So all of these together can add up to 22 common acids. Okay, and join together in chains to make protein. What is protein? Okay, you see how all of this is running in together? Does everybody get it? It's section by section. Okay. All right. Did I see a thumbs up? You have a liquid right now, Jennifer. You front and center. That's why I hit you right in the middle. Oh, okay. Who is that? That's a. I got to get up close. That's Mackenzie Rice. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so protein, even with my glasses on, I still got to get close to the screen to read my name. Okay, so protein. Hair is made up of protein called keratin. I know these are all words that are familiar with, with you, right? Because you could even pick up a shampoo that says it has keratin and protein in it. Right, ladies? Okay, and then a lot of conditioners have keratin and protein in it. Okay, you see how this is all connected to hair? Okay, so protein hair is made of hair. Hair is 97% keratin and 3% of traces of mineral. Okay, so hair, 97% keratin.
common amino acids. Okay, so let's recap. C O H N S. Common stands for carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and sulfur. Okay, with all, all of these together, we add up to 22 common. Uh, amino acids. I'm not about amino. <laughs> okay, join together and change to make protein. Okay, what well, is protein? Protein is hair and hair that is made up of protein called keratin. So protein and hair is made up of protein called keratin. Hair is 97% keratin and 3% trace minerals. Hair contains 19 of the 22 common amino acids. Hydrogen bond, the hydrogen atom in one molecule is attracted to an atom of another molecule that has many negative electrons. Hair has many uh, hydrogen bonds, which are individually very weak and can easily be broken by heat or water. About 35% of the hair strength is due to the millions of hydrogen bonds in this structure. So hydrogen So hair has many hydrogen bonds. Which are individually weak, individually very weak. and can easily be broken. About 35% of the hair strength is due to the millions of hydrogen bonds in its structure. Okay, salt bond. This bond is a result of attraction unlike charges. The negative charge in one amino acid grouping attracts the positive charge in another amino acid grouping. Okay, 
So this is what our results, the results. Subtraction. Uh, uh, unlike. So the opposite attracts. Okay. <clears throat> unlike charges. Okay. So for example, the negative charge. And one, it says a negative charge in one amino acid grouping attracts the positive charge in another. Then you have this dissociified bonds. A chemical bond that forms between protein structures, sulfur type side chains joined with other sulfur, sulfur type side chains, they form the disulfide bond. Joined with other sulfur. So these two together, they form the disulfide bond. <laughs> so what are end bonds? They are backbone of all protein bonds, peptide bonds, another word for peptide bonds. Okay, they are the backbone of all protein molecules. Link the amino acid protein chains together end to end and do not disturb the end bond. We got the sauce fry bond, and then we can have in bonds, also known as pet. Anybody? Oh, Angelina. I got this. You got it. And Brianna Castro. Uh -huh. Somebody that says iPhone, we don't know who that is. Who has iPhone? You want to get credit? We have no name. Jeremy. Jeremy. Ah, good, Jeremy, because I didn't have you down. Anybody else join us a little later? Speak up. 
No? Okay. Okay, so the enzyme is the backbone of all protein molecules. Link the amino acid protein chains together. They link the amino end to end. And do not disturb the end bar. So you gotta think about the scientists. They, uh, they talk about chains and how all the bonds are linked together. Just imagine a chain. Okay, with well, all these atoms and bonds and proteins and molecules work together like a chain link fence. Okay, side bonds they link the long spirally protein chains together. So they link the long spiraling protein chains. Hydrogen salt, the, the sulfide, and then the Wall's forces. Van the Wall's forces. Okay. That's what they're linking all together. Okay. They are linking the hydrogen, salt, the sulfide, and the van their Walls. So an end bond should not be broken. If broken, it will revert back to amino acid groups. And a side bond, a hydrogen bond, can be broken to form physical change. A salt bond can also be broken to form physical change. And the dissociated bond, when broken, causes lasting chemical change. Okay, so if we was a looking from a scientist view, it would look like I'm not an artist. I'm gonna do the best I can. Okay, so yeah, okay. So I'm gonna do that would be hydrogen. And then this one will be the social fire. Okay, this will be salt. This is Okay, so they have all of these chains that's linked together like this. And then they have all these circles. These are all these bonds and atoms that are linked together. Okay. 
You can always look at your textbook if my artwork <laughs> is confusing me, okay? I always refer to your textbook, chapter five. Okay, then we're gonna talk about uh, the pH scale. Did any, did any of you get the, uh, the strips to take home and dip it into certain products? and see what the pH was? Yes! Good, Jennifer. Okay. So, potential hydrogen, it measures whether the substance is acidic, neutral, or alkaline. Okay. So potential and measures whether substance is exited. Neutral or alkaline. Okay. Water based solutions. pH measures the amount of acid or alkali in a water-based solution only. Acid or alkali. And a water based solution only. Does anybody have any questions so far? I know. Okay, so we're going to take a 10 minute break. Okay, everybody log back on at 310. Okay, 310. And if you don't log back in, you will not get your hours. This whole time that he's on it, do we understand? Yeah, were we supposed to have okay, already so done the test with these little pH strips or were we gonna do that with you? You already did what, the chemistry test? What yeah, you gave us the strips. Are we supposed are we doing the strips that with the different waters with you guys, or were we supposed to do that on our own independently? You're, yes, that's the homework, right? Yes. The homework you do on your own. The paper that we got, we passed out for you to do homework assignment. Well, I didn't even look at that. Say that again. We, we're what just making sure we understand your question. Say it again. What if we don't have one, Ms. Michelle? You need a homework paper? I got the homework paper, but not the test strips. Okay, then that's okay. We can give you some later, and you can also just watch online with us and do it. Okay? okay. Um, we'll have, are you going to do that tomorrow, maybe? Yes, yeah, yeah, I could do the strips tomorrow. We can have different cups out for that. Okay? Don't worry about that. As long as you do the rest of the homework assignment, okay? Okay. All right. So we're going to take a 10 minute break, and we'll be back at 310. If you don't log back in, you will not get your credit. Oh, okay. Just leave. Ten minutes because it's a two-hour uh, lesson. Okay. See you back in ten minutes.
Or whatever it should be on there as well. Okay, and then how about your other high schoolers? I forgot to tell them. So,
Hello, welcome back. I'm gonna continue with the pH scale. Can I take roll request? Miss mm -hmm. Jacqueline, give me a thumbs up. Jacqueline. All right, we got uh, Silai. Silai. Jeremy? Here. Deja. Thumbs up. Nice. Jennifer. Gotcha. Charlene. Charlene back. Give a witness, Charlene. And Brianna. Brianna back. 
Angelina's here. And uh, Mackenzie, you're back. All right. Yeah, it looks like Charlene and Brianna's coming back. But I just carried her on. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think you called my name. Who? Maria. Maria, I saw you, baby. Okay. Sorry. I thought I saw you. I bet you gave me a mm -hmm. Okay, so what did I leave up? I left off at the uh, water based solutions, the pH measures the amount of acid or alkaline in a water based solution only. The acid is more positive hydrogen and ion than negative. The negative hydrogen hydroxide, that's the acid. Neutral is the equal number of hydrogen and hydrogen. Droxide ions is equal numbers Droxide ions. Alkaline. has more negative hydroxide ions. More Okay, and a pH scale oh, is a unit of measurement. It determines if substance is acid, neutral, or alkaline, and it ranges from zero to 14, with seven being neutral. So the definition of the of the pH scale is the unit. Of measurement. It determines if substance Neutral or alkaline. And it ranges from zero to fourteen and seven is neutral. Okay, so for example, your sodium hydroxide which uh, relaxes. Okay, everybody has relaxes at this point in their cosmetology education, right? What is the pH scale for sodium hydroxide? Here's the scale. Here's 14, 7 being neutral, and here's 0. So we all know the numbers in between here. Is one through six, and the numbers through here is eight and thirteen, right? Seven being a neutral. For the sodium hydroxide relaxes, this is the chemical that will turn your hair from curly and wavy to straight. 
On a pH scale, it's 11.5 to 14. So is that strong or weak or in between? What would you say? Ladies, is 11.5 to 14 high or low? For pH scale, yeah. it's very high. Okay, welcome back, ladies. Okay, we're still talking about the pH scale. Okay, so your thyroid relaxes. This is the sodium from relaxing. What is this? What is the thyroid relaxing? That runs an eight point five to a nine. Okay, it's still low, but it's not as Strong as your sodium hydroxide relaxes. So I'm just getting, you need to get familiar with your products, the pH scale. That's why you was able to take that uh, swatches home so you can um, do your product knowledge, get to know what's high, what's low, what is pH scale. We're still admitting students. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, did you see? Yeah, I just, I admitted them in. Let's see that. What was she with you? Here, read them to me. Uh, I can't, but Blanc, Blanco. Yeah. <laughs> Angelina, Brianna. Okay. Angelina. Oops. Okay. Angelina. Uh, and <laughs> Brianna, Charlene. Deja, somebody with the iPhone, you, you might need to change it to your name. Who's the iPhone? Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> See, you got to put it just for your Zoom class. Jeremy, Jacqueline, Maria. Oh, I didn't my, my Zoom name on my other phone. So. Oh, on your other phone, it says it? Yeah, Jeremy. Yeah, and then, uh, yeah Deja's here. Mm -hmm. Jacqueline, Maria, Moto, Mackenzie. Okay. I heard that. I don't have a Maria Moto. I think that Moto, Jennifer, is that you? That's your aliens? Moto? What? Yeah. Oh, that she said, yeah, that's Jennifer. Oh. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm, I'm just going to suggest, I mean, we, we all grow, but maybe yeah. for your Zoom, you can have your real name, because we have to do attendance and stuff. Yeah, yeah. then you can change it back to your AKA aliases. <laughs> okay. So acid ranges are orange, more positive hydrogen ions. Neutral water is equal hydrogen and hydroxide ions. And uh, alkaline range ammonia is more negative hydro hydro hydroxide ions. And that's a 7.0 to 14. Okay. What does so, that say on alkaline? I'm going to write it down. Huh? Oh, okay. I'm going to write it down. Did Mackenzie come back? Yeah, Mackenzie's here. You got a mask on? I'm so Not work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I just called you out in front of the people. <laughs> now that's determination. You is not going to miss your Zoom class. That's what I'm talking about. I almost had to, but then I said, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do everything. It was not connecting. I lost my <laughs> Okay. So let me break this down. Okay. So. Ooh, that's zero point. Zero to six. Now remember, we got we go from zero to 
four ten. Okay, so it says zero to six point nine nine is acid range. Acid range. Orange. So that means when you do your little dipsticks and it turns orange, it's going to be about six. And most of these shampoos are about a six. We did it the other day. Most of your shampoos are about a six. Okay, and it's a more positive hydrogen ion. So they have more positive. And tomorrow, on tomorrow's Zoom, we'll do some um, demos on the pH strips. Okay, ladies? Um, neutral. Ooh, it like so loud. Okay. Neutral is water. It has equal hydrogen and hydroxide ion. Alkaline rings. Okay, so we got the acid, we got the neutral, and now we got the alkaline. That is a 7.01 to 14. That's a big range. It could go from 7 to 14. Okay. And it is ammonia. More negative and drop side. Okay. <laughs> Logarithm. I'm going to write it down. Oh, bless you. It says that each number increases by multiples of 10. We still talking about the pH scale now. Okay. It says each number increases by multiples. Of 10. So they say, okay, let me just draw it out. So this is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 14. So remember on one side of uh, on one side of the pH scale is acid and the other side is alkaline. So what they're saying is each number increases by 10. So that's 10 times, 100 times. 1,000 times, 10,000 times, 100,000 times, 1 million, 10 million. Oh, yeah. And then 14. Is ten million, ten million, 
Okay, so 14 is 10 million times more alkaline than seven. Seven is just zero times, okay? So this right here, this pH scale right here, what is pH? Lower pH is acidic, neutral is seven, and higher pH is more alkaline. Okay, so they give you examples. Water is in the zero to one. A lemon is two. White vinegar is three. Tomatoes are four. Bananas are five. A potato is six. Water back here, what is that? I'm sorry, that wasn't water, that was uh, Water's in the middle. Yeah, water's in the middle, but what is it? Hydrating the vinegar? The first one. Oh, I think that is the hydrate acid. I'm not sure. Yeah, I thought it was water, but it's not. Water's in the middle. Remember, water is neutral. Okay, then you have eggs that are eight. That's kind of high, huh? For an egg, I think so. Mm -hmm. Baking soda is nine. Uh, hand, sure. Yeah, hand soap is 10. Ammonia is 11. Clorox bleach is 12. Oven cleaner is 13. I mean, you almost got to run out the room when you spray your oven cleaner. I know I always get choked up. <laughs> and I can't tell what 14 is. Um, I said what, um, what, um, what a relaxer, where that Oh yeah, I talked about that. What would I say? A relaxer falls where? Did anybody remember what I talked about? Let's see who's paying attention. What is a sodium hydroxide relaxer on the pH scale? Come on, ladies. I just said it 10 minutes ago. 11.5 to 14. What is a permanent wave solution? The ones I know that most of you have done on the floor already. Right, doesn't that run from six to eight? Uh -huh. Yep. Permanent wave solution with your ammonium five broccoli runs about six to eight on the pH scale. You, you really have to study and know these things, especially for the products that you're actually gonna be using in the salon. So uh, it says the chemistry of cosmetics. So perms, you know, hair is wrapped around the tube. Processing lotion is applied to break the disulfide bonds. Hair softens to shape. Of the perm to rinses and removes lotion, neutralizes and reforms the sulfide bonds to the new shape. And then the alkaline and processes without heat, pH is 8.0 to 9.5. Digoxylate acid and ammonium hydroxide are the main ingredients. Okay, your acid wave is the main ingredient it is ooh, glycerol monothioglycate. Ooh, I said it. Glycerol monothioglycate. Say that three times fast. <laughs> um, speed is sacrificed for a more controlled curl, and heat may be used. Neutralizes main ingredients is hydrogen peroxide, sodium perborate, and sodium bromate. Okay. And relaxers reduce the curl in excessively curly hair or wavy hair by changing molecule structure. Okay, and the sodium hydroxide formulated with 2% to 3% sodium hydroxide and heavy cream base is on the pH scale is 11.5 to 14. It says sodium hydroxide and thiamoglycate are not compatible. 
Do not use one on top of the other. So in other words, if we get a relaxer, you cannot go back and put a permanent wave on it. It will not take it. And vice versa. You could do a permanent wave and put a relaxer on it, but that client will start shedding hair every day until it completely comes out to the new growth. Okay? And we don't want that to happen. So be careful with that. Okay, so thioglycolate formulated with 4% to 6% thioglycolate acid with 1% ammonium hydroxide, pH level is 8.5 to 9.5. Okay. Is everybody getting that? So when you do your perm, short for permanent wave, it runs over here 8.5 to 9.5. When you do your sodium hydroxide or your relaxes, they're on this side, 11.5 to uh, 14. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that just shows you the difference of how strong these two chemicals are. Okay? And then what is here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no. Everybody knows what that is? You're still using your ammonium thioglycolate, but on ethnic hair. Okay, so you straighten it first, you rinse that out, you roll it up, and then you put your uh, curl solution on it, rinse that out, and then put your neutralizer on. It's almost a, one extra step from your permanent wave. Okay, um, the only difference is from when you're doing a permanent wave on straight hair, you don't have to put the straightening product on it because the hair is naturally straight. Okay, but with ethnic hair, it's kind of wavy or curly, so you want to straighten that out first, get rid of the natural curl pattern, and you're creating a whole new curl pattern by the size of the perm rod you decide to pick. Okay. Hair color. Oh, okay. Um, hair color is not oxidative. Oxidative lighteners, developers, vegetable, metallic, and compound dyes. Now, why are they saying the hair color is not oxidative and oxidative? Can anybody tell me that? Mackenzie and uh, Angelina, we just went over there. Call her out. Oh, see, now Mackenzie. Oh, okay. Let me explain. So, hair color. You have non oxidative and oxidative. So, what would oxidate the hair color? I can't hear you. I can't hear nobody. Developer. Exactly. Thank you. So your non-oxidated is your what? It's your temporary, right? And your semi-permanent. Your temporary colors and your semi-permanent. And your demis. Okay. Oxidated. Is your permanent colors. Okay, that's when you have to mix it with developer. 20, 30, and sometimes 40. Don't you touch me. Who am I Oh, I'm going to be recording. Hi, Connie. <laughs> so, uh, Lightness, developers, vegetable, metallic, and compound dye. That all goes underneath here, okay, under hair color. So you got developers. Vegetable, metallic, and compound. Okay, so did it, I don't know everybody here went to the developer 
strengths. Would you put a 40 on bleach? That's right. Nope, you will not. That's the only developer strength you will not use with bleach. It would tear the hair away. Would you, if the client come in and she has vegetable, metallic dye or compound dyes, would you put a current wave in her hair? On top of metallic dye? Not with it. It might not take. When in doubt, you could always do a strand test. Okay, the client has color in the hair and she's not sure what kind of color it is, and you're not sure. Okay, because a lot of times they will tell a little fib because they want that permanent wave so bad. Okay, so when in doubt, always do a strand test. It's better to do a strand test than do a strand than the whole head and then it won't take. You're wasting your time and the client's time. Okay, so always do a strand test when in doubt. Okay, um, so I went over that. Not oxidative or temporary, and non reactive direct dyes with post the surface and uh, certified colors and last until they shampoo out. And your semi permanent lasts through several shampoos, it lasts a little longer, but it penetrates through the cuticle layer, layer slightly alkaline in pH. Color you see in the bottle is the color deposited on the hair. So what you see is what you get with semi-permanent. You don't mix it with anything else. It takes it straight out the bottle. Okay, and oxidative is long-lasting, semi-permanent, demi-permanent, or oxidative with ammonia. Use low volume peroxide to develop molecules, and it only you can only add color, not subtract, lift, or lighten. Okay, so you got several types of semi-permanent. <clears throat> one that's going to last for shampoo, shampoo, and one that's going to have a little bit more staining power. Okay, it penetrates through the cuticle layer. All right, and then um, permanent is oxidated. Permanent color is oxidated. Okay, what oxidated? What does it? Is with ammonia or the developer? Okay, it's colorless molecules combined with peroxide to build colored molecules that link together in the cuticle and cortex and become anchored. It can lighten and deposit. Aniline derivative most frequently used. You can perform a patch test within 24 hours to the application of an aniline der 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 derivative color. So this is why you have to patch test your permanent colors because it has aniline derivative in it. It's a tar base, and that's what people are usually allergic to, the aniline derivative. And that's why you do a, a patch test. Oxidants is the ability to release oxygen needed for a chemical change. Does anybody have any questions uh, under this hair color? Do you, you now know the difference between non oxidative? and oxidative, right? If you don't want to speak, you could at least give me a thumbs up. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. So hair lighteners, bleaching or just colorizing, hair lighteners. Bleaching or decolorizing oxidation of natural melanin in hair, ammonia, common ingredient is alkaline. Okay, so let's put that down. The common. So on the scalp, on the scalp lighteners, we talk about lighteners, hair lighteners. On the scalp lighteners, it 
is gentle enough to be applied to the scalp. The answer is all, basically in the wording, on the scalp. That means that it's gentle enough to be applied on the scalp. It's oil and it's mild, and the pH is a nine. pH for on the scalp, lighter is a nine. Okay, and you can find it for oil base, oil to mild, and it's a cream, the most popular, prevents dripping. They have a liquid, they have liquid developer that, I mean, it's like water. It, it, it's so runny. And then we use most of the cream one in the school and in the salons now, okay? So the cream developer, as they say, is more popular. They still sell the liquid one, but I was totally stay away from that one. Okay, we pick it up as just like water. And that's how it starts running. Uh, basically off the client's scalp, but the cream one is more consistent when you mix it with your bleach. It prevents dripping. And it's used for full head of lightning. Okay, so when you're ready to do a virgin bleach or a bleach touch-up, that's what we recommend. The on the scalp, okay? Use Off the scalp. Okay, you hear the word uh, off the scalp. We still talk about lightness. The answer is in the wording, off the scalp. You putting it off the scalp. And usually, what do we use that for? Highlights and weaving. If you notice, the foil will never get close up to the base. There's a reason for that. Okay? It would irritate the heck out of a client. Okay? So that's why we'll use the on the scalp for virgin bleaching or touch ups. Okay, and we use the off the scalp for weaving and highlights. Do we have both at the school or do we use one or the other there? Say that again. Do we have both lighteners at the school, the on and off the scalp, or do we only have one? We have both because we got clients that come in and we're full heads of bleach. So then when I did my daughter's hair the other day and we did like all of her hair, but not on the scalp, what did we mix? We used powder. So that was, uh, that was off the scalp because okay. she had a ombre. She didn't want it yeah. up to her roots, her base. So we did off the scalp. Okay. Thank you. If she wanted, yeah, if she wanted her roots done and all the way over like a virgin, we would have did the on the scalp. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, that's what I'm getting to. That's a good question. So it's uh, for weaving and highlights. Uh, it's uh, in powder bleach. Okay, because remember, the orange scalp is more of a, it's in, in a cream form. Okay. Um, this one is a powder bleach. It's light and faster, okay, because it's stronger. Because guess what the pH is on that one? The pH on the upper scalp is uh, 10.3. 10.3. So that tells you how strong it is, right? It lightens faster. It's 
stronger than on the scalp. Well, what you can clearly see is on, on the scalp is a nine. So it's just a point three stronger, but strong is strong. And some people are more sensitive than others. Okay, so it's stronger. Would there be a concern to mixing these two? Like if my daughter decided to come back and have her roots done on the scalp and we used an on the scalp product, is that going to counteract it all with the off the scalp? No, we're only gonna bring it down to the line of demarcation. We're not gonna go over where it's previously colored at. Okay? So we'll treat it like a retouch. Long as she doesn't go like months, when it's that keeps growing down, you know what I mean? There's that way to be a touch up. If she waits any longer, then that's like a like a virgin. You have to try because you got to use more product. Product and time it, it changes the price in all your services. Okay, but yeah, to answer your question, as long as you go down to the line of demarcation, you should be fine. Okay, all right. Um, I think that'd be pretty. That's my opinion. I, I, I really do. Because <laughs> the color looks awesome. I really did. It came out good, huh? Yeah. So I could up, uh, right, yep. Okay. So yeah, I would do, I would uh, touch up her roots, put another tone all over it to make it more, you know, get that grass out. Yep, it'll be fine. But anyway, that's just me. Look, I did a consultation because I, <laughs> I helped you with it. Okay, so developers. Okay, hydrogen peroxide is the most common. 20 volume is used most often, and that's true, especially if you use a lot of that in the school. Because until you get up your speed, I would not, I would not ever give a student, or even somebody that's licensed in the salon and works a little slower, I would not do a 30, ever suggest them to do a 30 or 40. Okay, because that's gonna work faster, so you have to work faster. But a 20 is a comfortable level. And most people use a 20 because you don't want to damage your clients here too. Okay, over processing. So, um, erase this. So we talk about developers. What's another word for developers? Hydrogen peroxide. It's most common, it's most common. And 20 volume. This is the one that's used most often. The pH is 2.5 to 4.5. Permanent colors require peroxide to develop the color molecules. Shelf life is usually three years. Permanent If you don't use developers in your colors, it will not be permanent. It's gonna be temporary, it's gonna rinse out so after shampoo to shampoo. Okay. Um and we call let's put that down to develop. Shelf light three years. <clears throat> that means that if you have it in your salon more than three years, you can get rid of it and get some more. If it's in your salon for more than a six months, 
you need to step up, step up your game. Why is it sitting there so long? You're not making no money. So you need to advertise or do something to get them clients in there. Okay. I never let my product take no more than six months in my salon. But when you are doing an abundance of clientele, it's not going to sit there that long. Okay, you're going to have a big turnover. Okay. But sometimes you'll buy a product that somebody referred to you and it's not moving because you don't like it. Okay, so you tried it, it sits on your shelf. After a while, just get rid of it. Does anybody know how long shelf life is for development? Oh, yeah, it's totally. Oh, uh, <laughs> your notes are good. Does the state board require that we write the date that we open it? on the bottle or on anything so that if they come in and they do a walkthrough, are they going to ask us how long has this been open? I've never had state board ask those kind of questions in the salon. They're looking for cleanliness, things that's not labeled, illegal stuff and things like that. If your license is expired, I never had to walk in and look at my cabinets and try to figure out how long color and development. No, so I'm going to say no. Okay, you should know though. You should keep a record because guess what's gonna happen? If you have something that's over the shelf life and you use it on the client and it doesn't take or it irritates them to do anything like that, you're the one that the client is gonna be looking at. See what I'm saying? That's just like a, a somebody in the food industry trying to uh, sell old food. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a perfect example. A friend of mine, uh, his mother went to the basically, and she bought a, uh, something on the ship because you know some of those corner stores they don't rotate their stuff like the big supermarkets do. You're supposed to get rid of the outdated stuff, put it on errands, and the rest you just donate it or get rid of it, right? That's why I always read expiration dates on food. So it's the same thing with the color. So basically, it's up to you as a stylist to know because you don't want to get a lawsuit. You understand where I'm coming from? Okay, all right. <laughs> or your rep too. That's your rep, whatever oh. color line you're getting, that is your representative. That, that's their job to come in and, say, and replace that stuff. Mm -hmm. Also. Meaning that once you get a salon, we, you have distributors and, and, and uh, salespeople that come to the salon. You don't have to be running to Cosmo and the Savage. They want to come to you. You know, you get that product, they want to keep, that's how they make money, by the Savage keep buying the product. So that's what, uh, that's what Ms. Sue is saying. Okay, so you all kind of work together. So I, I hope I answered all your questions. But yeah, that's a good question. Okay, very good. Um, hydrometer is used to, is, is women. I talk so fast, I can say. Hydrometer used to measure strength of hydrogen peroxide. Good to have if you use a lot of development. Shelf life is three years. So that answers your question too, Jennifer. They have a hydrometer that you can use to measure the strength of the hydrogen peroxide. I'll write it down so you get the right spell. Hydrometer. Use. To measure bingo bango. So if you're not sure, because you didn't write down your developer, and maybe that one was sick so much, but you, you found another one that you like better. Somebody trying to get a minute now or something? No, we're done. Mm -hmm. Okay, hydrometer. I have no idea what it looks like. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's the first time I heard about it. <laughs> you know me, I'm honest age. So, but guess what? I'm going to research it. It's, it's very interesting. Don't you agree? Okay. So, what time? Can we check out and see what it's like? Yes, 
So I'm going to take a roll again. Uh, we have Jacqueline. Thumbs up, Jacqueline. Say something. Okay. We have Silani. Thumbs up. Uh, to Maria Cervantes. Okay. <laughs> Jeremy, you still there? Jeremy. Hi. And Deja. The pretty eyeshadow, Deja. And we got Charlotte. Charlotte Moore is still here. Yeah. And Brianna. Mackenzie's still there. Angelina. Here. Here. Mackenzie. Here. So one more time. Charlene Moore. You still there? Mm -hmm. All right. And Brianna still there? Yes. Brianna? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Deja Green. Yes. Oh, she's there. Hey. That's what I'm talking about. I can't see you, but I hear you. All right. Thank you, ladies. I'm here. Thank you. So tomorrow is to be two to four again. Oh, I see you. Hey, Deja. Tomorrow will be two to four again. Okay, we'll have a break in between. Any questions? Okay. Any questions, concerns, um, moving too fast, writing too slow, anything you want to get some feedback on? I appreciate it. No, yes. Okay. All right. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, ladies. <laughs> good night. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Let me end it too soon. Yep. Good. See how that one makes for the other two. The one that you were using just now. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was yours. Right on it. I did the X on it. Is that yours? The big uh, one? I think so because you gave me uh, three separate parts. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then I should have another one. You gave me 5.3, 5.2, 5.1. Yeah. Do you have it Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 You gave me two, too. Mm -hmm. That's yours for sure, because you got yours all together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 5.2. There it is. Uh -huh. Okay. So, <laughs> what are we going to do tomorrow? What are we going to do tomorrow? Okay, I'm going to get those strips from Donovan and try to figure out some stuff to use for that. I, could, I still have to go over some more chemical. Um, chemistry of cosmetics. Okay. Finish that and up and then, yeah. And then you do the strips, right? Yep. <laughs> so that'd be good because look, I could get some kind of uh, mm -hmm. ointment, soap, or whatever. I used to, uh, then I ran out of time, so I would write down everything, but then I would turn around and write down a blank. I uh, have a blank one mm -hmm. so that my students would have a blank one and I would fill it out and they would be in the right and go on the because our my RP never got notice my notes. So so maybe uh like next week, whatever I'm doing, I can get some blank ones and it told me for it first. That's right. We think they do it, we think giving them the smart notes because our RP don't get that. They don't get the post on the Oh, okay. Oh, they just get the workbook. Right. So they don't get smart notes. So this is how I get the smart notes. Uh -huh. Yeah, that makes sense. Or whatever, right? So then this, I usually take it home once a year, but chapter six is that. You got a class here. Mm -hmm. Trichology. 
And then you want to get it in here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get so busy, you can't do it. Then you see here, this is part of it. And then I just took it and so it doesn't also look like I'm reading from it. But okay, I got that time. I didn't need to talk about this. I'll be talking about this in more active questions. But then you're going to have to basically. So you don't even have to write down. So what do you write? Well, I'm going to go and see them. Just like, and that's just like a diet for you. Yeah. And then you talk about that because at the end I started just talking about it. Right? That's fine. Yeah. yeah. I just tried to teach you right? yeah. what I was talking about. Yeah. Not very good at it. So, so, I, so I think what you suggested at the end, I just like you said, highlighted this talk to you. Yeah. It said, because before I was just writing everything down in the paragraph. <laughs> yeah. So I can write for the little So I appreciate it. Oh, you're my hands. I have to do it. It's just okay. I remember James is a teacher. We haven't done that with a thing. I'm sure what it did that. You know? Oh, good. That two hours went by faster than I thought. I was like, oh my God. Can I talk about that in just two hours? So what happens with the ones that? Don't log in at all. Nothing. They don't really work out. It's going to get two hours. Right. Okay. Does this, does this go to you? Yep. Really, right? I picked this up and uh, the shampoo came down. It wasn't on the side of the side. This was a Thank you, Miss Smith. Mm -hmm. A big help. Even with the attendance. That was a time. Yeah. yeah. I got kept getting uh, when I first started. Jamie would give me little pieces of paper and said, here are these are the people. It's like no last names, nothing. I couldn't figure it out. No. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> Look, I'm gonna leave my iPad just like that. I know I can. Put it right. So you figured out how to get it right in this too.
Yeah, they're just in the habit of coming in here and getting it. So the thing is, is that the first thing in the morning is like that. It's just that there's going to be here in the afternoon. So I think if we put those up at the front desk, or they just get selected Friday. Well, because they're here on Saturday. Oh, yeah. See, so so let's keep them at the front. Okay. So you give it to them, and then Saturday they'll put the next week's in there. And then this week, and all we have to do is go pull them. Okay. That would make it easy. That's how I was able to find week three and also two was because they were in the folders. But I know one. Did you look through these for week one all this stuff? Yeah, I got frustrated. Uh, no comments. Yeah, sort of. You got something too. You want to do this too, Miss Michelle? Mm -hmm. You can put your board, like you're sitting here talking to me, you put your board back here. You know, like you're sitting here uh -huh. or you're sitting there, whichever way you want to go. Mm -hmm. And you put it here so that when you're talking to him, all you're doing is talking your points. I know, and I have to do, um, like Ms. Sue said, outline it yeah. or fill it out before I start because I feel like the, I'm turning my back on him a lot. Yeah. Right? So I'm like, just outline the, the mm -hmm. start yeah. the past. And then if not, and you can still stand over there. What I did was I put the board behind me so that they could see it if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. But and then I took a picture of it. The only thing that pissed me, sorry, mm -hmm. pissed me off is my phone kept going and I kept having to log back in because you know what I'm saying? Except when I have my mask off. Mm -hmm. Then it would actually look at my picture and it would come back on. So I kept having to touch my phone. That's the only thing that bothered me. So if you were in in here, you could actually set your board up. Both sides, and all you have to just excuse me a minute, come over, flip it. You've got plenty to talk about, yeah, you know what I'm saying, if not more. So. And I, I like the iPad because my mm -hmm. phone, the notifications be coming up just yeah, now. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. I was like, okay. Well, thank you. All right, I'm just going to make I'm sure they'll all come and say good things. I'm going to back No, I'm going to come back again. Yeah. 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 This room is next to get LED. Oh.
guess we'll, we'll see about the second one. Yeah. We'll have to see. Why is it that I hear that two and Joseph and Jones only have one? Just because that's what they've done, but it's not as effective as the same with the one shot. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's kind of like getting the uh, food shot too. I mean, you get a food shot, then all of a sudden you get the food. <laughs> I know, yeah, it's, it's, it's true. Yeah. I, I tried to go to Sylvia and Friday to make an appointment, and they keep saying, Sight is down, sight is down. I said, Everybody's logging in like the other point, remember? Yeah. And when the site was down, the site is down. Well, my mom yeah. went to the CVS with them. Yeah, I know, but you try, I try to go in and make an appointment. You can't just walk in. And the point. Yeah. And I, I meet all the characters, you know, diabetic. Yeah. Dead. But Oakdale. Really? I got my mom an appointment in Oakdale, like, within two days. Yeah. But you went online, though, right? Did you go online? Yeah. Did you go online? Yeah. What, 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 oh, but you have to do it at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning. That's what I'm saying. Uh, they they release the appointments at 5, and by, like, 5.30, they're gone. Oh, see, that's what I see. Okay, oh, yeah, I did a Sunday night for Oakdale. They're Where'd not you get a Sunday? Maybe that's what. They're not going to make the uh, what's that called? A serum? Serum? To see oh, the antibody to test. test first? I, I don't know. I was going to go try to get a shot. Oh. By the time I'd be on the wait list, my test. Yeah. If your antibodies are there, you don't need a shot. Mm. I still feel and, like we're probably going to get a shot. According to Tizer, your antibodies. <laughs> Only got for 90 days. Mm -hmm. So if it's there. been 90 days, and yeah, you want to just do it. It'll that's what they told my dad, too. Yeah. It'll be there. It'll, it's almost there. It's 60 something. And that's a terrible. I want to get on the point. I want to go to the point. I, I, maybe I don't want, I don't go anywhere, but I just want to go. Yep. I want to know that I can't. Yeah. I want to know that I can't. Yeah. I don't want anybody telling me I can't get on the plane without, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, it's just more frustrating than we are. Yeah. 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 All right. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Thanks again, Mr. Uh huh. Okay. You need more food. You need more food. I know. I'm okay. You sure? Uh huh. Go fix the wheel. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, Lorenzo. You got to talk. So silly. I'm going to make you right down again. Bye, Rosa. Oh, look at you. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Um, I'm going to come in because look at all the help I need. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to come in. Two hours. So what time is it tomorrow? Two. Oh, so oh you're here. saying that I, I have to stay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, yeah. So uh, Lorenzo will be here just like he is now. He'll just go to four. The rest of us will leave when we're done with our work after 2.30. And you'll just clock out we can And I think once you've done that, then you'll be next week. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Just knock the kinks out. All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, I'll send you the video too, Mr. Oh, yes. I can laugh with a glass of wine. Yeah. I'll send you the link. Why are you laughing already? You are making my point. Oh, I know. I got
<laughs> you can't get in your car? Uh, <laughs> Y'all are funny. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just texting Kalila. We can still do it. She put me doing my head. 